Hey, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta bring that shit back. It's good to have you with us. What's up, everybody? I'm back with yet another video. And in this one, I have some mess, some tea, some drama. Well, not really any tea, but some mess and some drama, definitely. Because for whatever reason, the last few times Saweetie has put out music, she finds herself into some mess with social media. But first, I did want to highlight Saweetie's new song called Back to the Streets, featuring Janae Aiko. She has finally released this song after 87 years of keeping it held up in the chamber. If you follow Sweetie and you are a fan of her music, then you already know. But this new record she has, she really just flows onto the beat with this melodic style of rap. And this is what I was talking about in the first video that I ever did of Sweetie. It's fine to do the thought music. I get that it's trending. I get that it brings numbers. But I still feel like she let go of that original high maintenance bougie. Cali girl sound too quickly. It's fine to venture into different styles and things, but when you're still new and developing and seeking direction as an artist, it's best to just stick with what works for you for the foundation of it all. Music like Back to the Streets sets Sweetie apart from the other girls. She's not necessarily seen as up there with Nikki and Cardi and Meg, but her name is still brought up with them at times and definitely with the bulk of the other girls like Mulatto and City Girls. And while we're at it, Janae Aiko is actually a good example of what I mean. She herself doesn't necessarily have the same talent and abilities as the other R&B girls of today, but she has that Janae Aiko sound and vibe that has garnered her a loyal fan base and has kept her relevant all these years in her own lane, even if she does choose to try something new and get a little raunchy here and there or not. And that's all I was ever saying about Sweetie. I like her as an artist and she's enjoyable as a personality as well. She doesn't really feed into the drama and is mostly unproblematic up until social media decides that she has said something they don't like. And that's not even her fault these days. It's not that hard to stir up some shit on social media. So when Back to the Streets dropped, Sweetie had a party to celebrate and of course Quavo was there and she took a moment to spill some knowledge on to Icy Gang about if and when you should send your man back to the streets. Uh, if he's not getting you a barking, if he's not paying for your bills, it's Okay. Now, Sweetie owns quite a few Birkin bags, and she also has a TikTok slash Instagram reel series featuring all her little Birkin babies. <laughs> So it's expected that she would say something like this, but her Birkin bag briefing <laughs> that she gave to Icy Gang caused a bit of a conversation amongst all of social media. I'll go ahead and fill you in on what the people were saying. So someone said, why are we discussing buying Birkins when none of us can afford it? Men in the comments are mad, women have standards, but there are multiple tweets on here of men saying they want women with money, black men and their Jedi mind trick. I really think Sweetie was talking to boss bitches only and I'm with her 100%. It's not so much about the Birkin itself, but the fact that a man is supposed to be a provider, doing things for you and lifting you up. Men, I want a woman that can buy me the PS5. Women, I hate broke dudes, it's just $500. Sweetie, if he can't buy you a Birkin or pay your bills, throw him back to the streets and women facts, period. Not Sweetie trending over her Birkin comment. Y'all really didn't get what she meant. Sweetie got the men's all rattled over her Birkin comment. This is going to be a long day on here. I'm not even going to converse about Birkin bags because it's not in my tax bracket. I forget, I suggest others do the same. And I didn't take Saweetie's Birkin comment as your man has to buy you a Birkin. Saweetie's lifestyle calls for Birkin bags. Maybe yours only calls for a Louis V. Maybe a coach bag for somebody else. And this other blog that I found said, why are people so mad at Sweetie setting a standard for herself when men have been doing this for years? A man will dare describe the kind of woman he wants and even stress the fact that she has to have her own money if he's going to wife her. Ashley Devana, who is a YouTuber, said, I may not want a Birkin, but I will never date broke men or men that believe everything should be 50-50. If I have to choose between taking care of and spoiling myself 
or splitting bills while burying the children and doing most of the cooking and cleaning, I choose me. Now, those specific comments that I just read to you guys, and there are a lot more, but the ones that I pulled up were kind of in response to the initial reaction from men by Sweetie saying what she said. But you know, I can't be fishing through tens of thousands of comments. But I don't know what it is about the Breaking bag all of a sudden. I don't know if it started with the reveal that Drake invests in them or if it started with the big breaking bag hole, five, six figures, or if it's just people trying to follow trends and trying to keep up with the Joneses. Either way, I don't get the appeal. I don't understand. Maybe because I don't really wear bags in the first place, but I think I'm just the kind of person who would rather have that money invested into myself or my business. Or if I wanted to buy something material, I'll probably choose a car over a bag, but that's me. In general, for some of the people who are out here on Instagram flexing with the Birkins and all of that, the expensive luxury bags, I think for some of them, it's just another way for them to be like, hey, look what I can afford because I'm rich or look what I can afford because my man is rich or look what I can afford because I didn't scam 500 people out of $50,000. <laughs> Girl, ain't nothing even in that bag but a tampon and a piece of candy, girl, shut up. But as far as what Saweetie was saying, you gotta understand that she is not talking to her everyday fans when it comes to an actual Birkin. Like I said, her whole persona is very pretty, bougie, and high maintenance, and she's going to get a man of that caliber as well. Somebody in her tax bracket that can afford to get her a Birkin because that is her lifestyle. Obviously, if you do not live that same kind of lifestyle, then replace the Birkin bag with something that you would want for your lifestyle and your relationship that you have and your standards that you are going by for you. The Birkin bag is what she's saying for her, but the overall message is to simply just have standards. It doesn't even have to be materialistic. If your significant other isn't doing what you need for them to do, what you want for them to do, what you desire in a relationship, even if it's gifts, some people's love language is gifts, oh well, then send them on back to the street. But of course, some of those men down in the comments got all butt hurt because they can't afford a Birkin. Look, a lot of people can't afford a Birkin. It's okay. <laughs> And then I saw a lot of people in the comments talking about, oh my gosh, do people just not love anymore? Why is everything about gifts? Why is everything materialistic? Why is everything about a freaking bag, a this, a car, a that? I get it. I understand. Because like I said, I get the irritation with all the materialistic obsession going on. But you can't use these celebrities, influencers, public figures, rappers, rapper baby mamas. You can't use them as examples in the basis of everything. Their standards are what they are because of their lifestyle. What may be super expensive to you may be relatively cheap to someone who is worth millions of dollars. And the things that these rap girls rap about and talk about unless, you know, they're trying to make an actual serious statement, stepping out of their celebrity box. Everything else shouldn't be taken so deep. They are here to entertain us after all. I don't know why it struck a nerve with so many people, but I mean, there is a lot of hype around the Birkin bag lately, like the Birkin, 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 Birkin. But anyway, Saweetie did respond to all of this commotion in expected Sweetie fashion with another special Halloween Harry Potter episode of Birkin Bag Brats saying, while y'all mad at breaking bags, mine over here teaching at Hogwarts. Today is a special day and I have my bag and I'm going to sort you into your houses. A little bit of attitude, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. House Icy Brats. Okay, you a little bougie. Hair done, nails did, pretty mob. Okay, I see you about your paper. Can't stop, won't stop. Get guap, turn my toes and toilet flip flops. <gasps> So let me know what you guys think about all this. Are you feeling the new single Back to the Streets? And what's your take on Sweetie's Birkin bag message? Be sure to leave your opinions down in the comments below. Like the video because it's good for your edges. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. And that's it for today. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.